Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today we're going to see Game 2 of Cubs at Phillies. The Cubs come in on a two-game winning streak, having won yesterday's game in extra innings in dramatic fashion. The Cubs come in at 33-35, and 35, still five games out of first place in the National League Central. So let's see what today's game has in store for us. The Phillies are going to send former Cub ace Jake Arrieta out to the mound today. He has struggled a bit this year. Making start number 13, he is 0-4 with a 618 ERA, 158 whip. The Phillies are going to send out a lineup of Kingery, McCutcheon, Remuto, Harper, Segura, Gregorius, Walker, Herrera in center today, and Arietta pitching. The Cubs, on the other hand, with their new look lineup, are going to have Ian Happ leading off, followed by Santana, who was red hot out in center field. He had the day off yesterday. Chris Bryant at third, Baez at short, Ozuna at, in left, still looking for his first contribution of the year. Shaw, Contreras, and Jonathan Loiza is the Cubs starter. Loiza is making start number 14 on the season. He is 3-4 and four with a 5-14 ERA, 124 whip. Today, it is a very Mediterranean 77 degrees outside, and wind is blowing left to right at 10 MPH. So let's get our first pitch out. We see that Arietta is standing on the mound facing off with Ian Happ. All right, as the crowd filters in, we have Ariette on the mound. Cubs coming in at 33 and 35, fourth place in the NL Central. Philadelphia comes in at 34 and 31. They are third place in the NL East. Arietta looking for the sign with a one ball count and here comes the pitch to Hap. That's going to be a grounder to second. The throw goes to first and the throw is in time to retire Hap for out number one. Santana now batting with a one and one count and Santana grounds weakly back to the mound. Arietta, however is slow to react and Santana is safe on first with an infield hit. He legged out an infield hit. Santana continues to be red hot with a hustle play that time with a one-out single. Bryant now with a one-strike count, and Santana's running. He slides into second, and he is safe. He picked correctly. Arietta threw a changeup, and Bryant watched it go by as Santana steals second base. So now runner in scoring position with one out. Bryant still the batter with a full count. Arietta with the pitch. And he rings him up. Strike three on the outside corner. That was a sinker. And even if Bryant had gotten the bat on it, I don't think he would have done much with it. Now two outs. Baez the batter. Runner still on second base. First pitch to Baez. Here it comes. And Baez pops up to center. The center fielder Herrera goes back, but that is going to be playable on the warning track for out number three. We go now to the bottom of the first of a 0-0 contest. Kingery leading off against Loiza with a 2-2 count, the Phillies half of the first inning. Loiza looking for the sign. Here's the pitch. Check swing, strike three. The umpire rings him up, and Kingery... Shakes his head as he heads back to the dugout. McCutcheon now the batter. With an 0-2 count, here's the pitch. That's going to be a grounder to third. Bryant has it. Throws to first for out number two. Real Muto now is the batter with two outs and nobody on. And Real Muto is hit. Eliza plunks him right in the side. Real Muto waves the trainer off and heads down to first. Harper now batting. Two outs, one man on, 3-0 count, and Harper, that was a fastball, and it was just outside. They weren't going to let Harper have anything in that situation. Segura now, with two outs and two men on, and an 0-1 count. Segura waiting for the pitch. 
That's going to be hit well to right field. That is going to be caught by Hayward on the run on the warning track. So Loiza manages to escape the jam on a line drive rocket of an out to right field. We go to the top of the second inning, second inning with a 0-0 game. Azuna is going to lead off against Arietta with an 0-2 count. Azuna waiting for the pitch. Grounder to third. The throw goes to first, and Ozuna is out for number one. Shaw now waiting for the one and two pitch, and Shaw swings and misses for strike three. That's strikeout number two on the day for Arietta. Contreras now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Two and one count to Contreras. That's well hit to center field, but that is going to be over the center fielder's head, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Contreras... Heading into second with a double, Herrera looked like he was going to make that play, but it just got over the edge of his glove. And Contreras is credited with a two-out double. Now Jonathan Loiza will bat, trying to help break this tie with a one-strike count. And he punches a base hit into right field over the second baseman's head. Contreras rounds third. He is heading home. Contreras slides, and he is safe. And Contreras... Scores on the Loiza RBI single. The Cubs are now up one to nothing. Contreras, with a rare display of speed, manages to score all the way from second base on the Loiza RBI single. Hayward, now the batter, he had a big hit in yesterday's game. He comes up with two outs, one man on, one and two count to her to Hayward, and he swings and misses for strike three. That is strikeout number three of the day for Arietta. We go now to the bottom of the second inning of a 1-0 Chicago lead. Gregorius is the batter. He's going to step in to lead off for the Phillies, and he's going to bunt right back at the mound. Loiza has it, throws to first, but that is a bunt single to lead off the second inning. Well-executed play. They made Loiza play it, and Bryant was back at third, and there was just nowhere else to go. Gregorius has the bunt single. Neil Walker now batting. Switch hitting Walker steps in from the right side. He grounds to second. The throw goes to short, but Baez, after getting the force at second base, cannot make the relay to first. And it looks like Baez actually was injured on that dust up out at second base as Gregorius took out Baez to make sure that the double play didn't happen. So now Nico Horner is in at short. Let's see if we have any information on Javier Baez. He is day to day with a sprained finger for one to two weeks. All right, well, Baez is out for the rest of this game. And now Herrera is batting with Walker on first and one out. Two, two count, swing and a miss, strike three. That is out number two and strikeout number two for Loiza. And now the pitcher Arietta is going to step up to the plate. Like Loiza, he is trying to contribute to his own cause here with a runner on and two outs. Arietta, a somewhat prolific hitter with the Cubs, looks for the one-on-one -one pitch. And he pops it up to left. That is going to be playable, and it is going to be caught by Ozuna for out number three. Well, look at that. Ozuna's first contribution as a Cub, making that fly out the uh, catch on the pop-up. So Hap now the batter. He's going to lead off for the Cubs in the top of the third. Is a 1-0 Cub lead. Hap waiting for the 1-2 and two pitch. Hap swings and misses for strike three. That is strikeout number four on the day for Jake Arrieta. Santana now the batter. He steps up with an 0-1 count, one out. And he grounds to third. The throw goes to first, and Santana is retired this time for out number two. Bryant now the batter. He steps in. Former teammates here with Arietta. I'm guessing these two know each other pretty well. Two outs, nobody on base, and a 1-1 pitch to Chris Bryant. Arietta looking for the sign. And Bryant pops it up on the infield. That's going to be playable. It's going to be caught by Segura for out number three. The Cubs retired in order in the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third of a 1-0 lead. Kingery is going to lead off for the Phillies as they have batted around in the first two innings. 
Louisa with a one strike count looking for the pitch and it gets away or no it's popped up I'm sorry Contreras hustling and he grabs it for the first out of the inning it looked like that was going to be a wild pitch but McCut excuse me Kingery had just gotten a, the end of the bat on it to pop it up so McCutcheon now batting with one out nobody on full count to McCutcheon and that's popped up to right Hayward coming in he is going to make that play for out number two Romuto now will bat with another full count and two outs and he takes strike three looking on a fastball I don't know what Real Muto was looking for there, but it was not the fastball as Luiza gets strikeout number three to end the third inning. We go to the top of the fourth of a 1-0 Cub lead. Nico Horner is going to lead off here for the Cubs in the fourth. He replaced Baez last inning. Three and one count to Nico Horner. That's a grounder up the middle. The shortstop has it, throws to first for out number one. Ozuna now will bat with one out, nobody on. One ball count to Ozuna. And that's a ground ball up the middle. That is going to be playable. The throw will go to first. Kingery bobbled it, but he did get it to first base in time to retire Ozuna. And Shaw now the batter. Travis Shaw steps up with a 2-2 two -two count and two men out. And Shaw lifts one into right. Harper coming in. He's going to make that catch for out number three. Cubs go down 1-2-3 in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning of a 1-0 Cub lead. Bryce Harper now batting against Jonathan Loiza. 2-2 two -two count to Harper. Loiza looking in. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a base hit into right field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Gets past Hayward and goes... The throw goes into second. Hayward trying to throw out Harper at second base, but it's just a little short on the throw a little bit late so Harper gets a double Segura now the batter leadoff double for Bryce Harper Segura with a one strike count and here's the pitch Segura grounds up the middle Horner has it throws to Shaw at first after looking the runner back that is out number one Harper does not advance and now Gregorius is the batter first pitch to DD Gregorius he flies to left that should be playable also. The catch is made by Ozuna, and that is out number two. Harper has no opportunity to tag up in advance on that play. Neil Walker is now going to bat with two outs. Harper still standing out there on second base. Here's the pitch. Grounder to first. Shaw has it. Oh, and he bobbles it. Shaw bobbles the ground ball. That could have been the third out of the inning, but instead, that'll be an error. Harper advances to third. And Walker is safe on first. So now, Loiza has to pitch to Herrera with runners on the corners and two outs in the bottom of the fourth inning. One and two count, and Herrera pops it up on the infield. Corner has it, makes the catch for out number three. Well, Shaw is redeemed as the error does not end up costing them a run. We go to the top of the fifth inning of a 1-0 Cub lead. Contreras now is going to lead off. The Phillies have the shift on. Arietta with a one and two count, pitching to Contreras here in the top of the fifth inning. And that's going to be a base hit for Contreras. It's going to get over the shortstop's head out into left field. That's the way to beat the shift, I suppose, is just hit it over the infielder's heads. So that's a leadoff single for Wilson Contreras, and now Loiza will bat for himself with nobody out, runner on first in the top of the fifth inning. There's going to be a bunt opportunity here. The sacrifice is down. The throw, however, goes to second, and Contreras, Contreras is retired at second, and then the Phillies actually turn it into a double play as Loiza is not hustling down the line on that sacrifice, and he is thrown out at first. That is just depressing. The Cubs now have two outs and nobody on base after the leadoff single by Contreras is erased by the bunt double play by Loiza. Now, Jason Hayward is going to bat with a three and one count, and he takes ball four outside. Hayward draws the base on balls, heads down to first. 
And Ian Happ is the next batter. Two outs, one man on. Happ trying to help the Cubs extend this 1-0 lead. One strike pitch to Happ. Happ grounds up the middle. The second baseman has it. Steps on the bag. And that'll be out number three. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning of a 1-0 Cub lead. Arietta will lead off for the Phillies in the bottom of the fifth against Loiza. 2-2 pitch. Loiza looking in. Here's the pitch. And that is strike three called. That is a fastball at the knees, and Arietta just watches it go by. So Kingery now the batter. That's strikeout number four for Loiza. Kingery comes up with one out, nobody on. First pitch to Kingery. Here it comes. Grounder to first. Shaw has it. Throws to Louisa covering the base, and that is out number two. McCutcheon now the batter with two outs and nobody on. 0-2 pitch to McCutcheon. Louisa looking in. Here it comes. So wing and a miss, strike three. Louisa records strikeout number five, and the fifth inning is over. We go to the top of the sixth of a 1-0 Cub lead. Danny Santana going to lead off for the Cubs here in the top of the fifth against Jake Arrieta. He comes in with only 62 pitches thrown so far in this game. Full count now to Santana. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a base hit right up the middle. That drops in front of the center fielder, and Santana has a single. Herrera gets it back in quickly, but that'll bring up Chris Bryant with one man on, nobody out. One and two count. And Bryant swings and misses at a changeup for strike three. Bryant was really fooled by that changeup from Arietta. Strikeout number five for him on the day. And now Horner will bat with one out, one man on. Full count to Horner. And that's popped up to center field. That's going to be playable. Herrera has it for out number two. He had to run in a long ways, but he did get there to make the play. And now Ozuna comes out, two outs, one man on. Arietta trying to close out the Cubs half of the fifth inning, sixth inning, I'm sorry. And that one gets away. Santana heads down to second on the wild pitch. And now the Cubs have a runner in scoring position with two outs. Ozuna waiting for the full count pitch from Arietta. And there's a ground ball to second. The throw goes to first. And the Cubs are retired in the top of the sixth inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth of a 1 0 Cub lead. Real Muto will lead off against Louisa. Louisa has 64 pitches through five innings. One and two count from Louisa. Grounder to third. Bryant has it. Throws to Shaw. That is routine for out number one. Harper now the batter. Harper comes up. He is one for one today. One and one count. Louisa looks for the sign. Here's the pitch. Harper puts that one straight over the second base bag into center field for a single. He is two for two now today. Segura. We'll bat with one out, one man on. Segura with a three and one pitch, waiting for the pitch from Louisa. That is going to be ball four. That is low. So now the Phillies trying to get back in this ball game. They have first and second and one out, and Louisa has a little bit of a jam to work himself out of here. Gregorius is going to bat. Two men on, one out, bottom of the sixth inning. One, one count. Here's the pitch. That's popped up to right. Hayward coming in. He will make the catch for out number two. The runners retreat to their bases. There's The ball was just too shallow to allow anyone to tag up in advance. Neil Walker will now bat two outs, two men on. First pitch to Neil Walker. Here it comes. That's going to be a base hit up the middle. That's going to drop in front of the center fielder. Harper rounds third. He is heading home. The throw comes home, and Harper is safe. This game is now tied up at one. Neil Walker gets an RBI single for the Phillies. And now this is a 1-1 ball game in the bottom of the sixth inning. So Herrera will now bat for the Phillies with two outs and two men on. And a 2-1 count from Jonathan Loiza. Here's the pitch. Popped up to center. That one should be playable. And it is caught for out number three. Well, Santana puts that one away. The Phillies do score a run to tie up this ball game. We go to the top of the seventh inning of a 1-1 tie. Shaw is going to bat for himself. 
Contreras coming up next. Loiza, the pitcher's spot, is due up third. Shaw, leading off against Arietta, comes into the seventh inning with 88 pitches thrown. 1-1 one, one count. And Shaw grounds to first. And he is going to be retired as we Walker runs over to the bag for out number one. Contreras now batting against Arietta. One out, nobody on. 0-2 oh, count. Here's the pitch. Grounder to third. Oh, that gets by the third baseman. Contreras has a single. Oh, he's running all the way to third to second. Contreras, on a hustle play, gets all the way over to second base on a double. He slides in safely on a ball that it looked like Segura should have gotten over there at third before it got it got all the way down into the left field corner. So Tauschman now, the lefty, is going to pinch hit for the pitcher's spot. The Cubs trying to break this 1-1 tie. Contreras standing on second. Arietta pitching. 1-0 count to Tauschman. Here's the pitch. And he's going to pop that one up to center field. That is not going to get anything done. Contreras is going to have to remain on second. Kingery makes the catch for out number two. And now Hayward will come up to bat against Arietta. Hayward coming up with two outs. The go-ahead run in scoring position and a 2-2 count. Arietta with the pitch. So we're going to miss strike three. Well, Arietta gets him with a changeup. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning of a 1-1 tie. Albert Alsley is going to be the new pitcher for the Cubs. He is going to face Arietta, who's going to pit, or hit for himself here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Apparently, Girardi doesn't think he can do any better than anybody else in the bullpen today, so Arietta is coming back out for the eighth inning. Alsley, so far this year, has 19 and two-thirds innings thrown, 13 walks to 19 strikeouts with a 3.20 ERA. Alsley working to Arietta with a 2-2 count. He looks for the sign. And here's the pitch. And there's a grounder to short. Corner has it, throws to first. Shaw retires him, four out number one. Kingery is going to bat now with one out, nobody on. Full count to Kingery. Alsley with the pitch. Popped up to right. Hayward has a long run, but he is going to get there, and he's going to put it away for out number two. That was basically all the way down in the right field corner, but good defensive running play there by Hayward to make the catch. McCutcheon now batting with two outs and nobody on base. Owsley working with a one and two count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Owsley retires the side in order. We go to the top of the eighth inning. 1-1 one, one is the score. Ian Happ is going to bat for himself here in the top of the eighth inning. The switch hitter is going to step in from the left side against Arietta, who has 101 pitches already and coming out to work inning number eight. Full count from Arietta. Here's the pitch. Strike three called on the sinker. That is a strikeout. That is, well, that is apparently the end of the day for Jake Arietta. They left him in there specifically to pitch to half. And now, as Santana comes up, Sir Anthony Dominguez is going to come in to relieve Arietta in the top of the eighth inning. Dominguez comes in with 22 and a third innings thrown, 11 walks, 29 strikeouts, and a 5-6-4 ERA. Dominguez pitching to the switch hitter Santana, who steps in from the left side. 0-2 count. Dominguez looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. So we're going to miss strike three. Dominguez gets strikeout number one on the day. And Bryant now the batter. With two outs and nobody on base. One strike count to Bryant. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a base hit up the middle. That's going to drop in front of Herrera for a single. A two-out base hit for Chris Bryant as the Cubs try to retake the lead here in the top of the eighth inning. Nico Horner now going to bat. Runner on first. Two men out. Two-two count from Dominguez. That's going to be another base hit. That's going to drop in front of the left fielder. Bryant thinks about advancing to third, but he stops at second base. So back-to-back -back singles for the Cubs against Dominguez. And now Ozuna coming up with two outs, two men on. Tie ball game, top of the eighth inning. Ozuna looking to earn his pay here today. 
2-2 count to Ozuna. Here's the pitch. That's going to be popped up to right field. Is that going to drop? No, a diving catch, and he is robbed by Bryce Harper. That looked like that was going to get down, but it did not. Bryce Harper actually was injured on that diving defensive play. However, he is able to remain in the game. Well, Ozuna came very close to breaking through right there, but it was not meant to be. And now Real Muto is going to lead off for the Phillies in the bottom of the eighth inning. Game still tied at one. Owsley continuing to pitch for the Cubs. This is his second inning of work. 2-2 pitch. Here it comes. Grounder to third. Bryant has it. Throws over to first. That is out number one. Bryce Harper now batting for the Phillies in the bottom of the eighth inning. Still shaking the dust off from that diving defensive play in the top of the eighth. First pitch to Harper. Here it comes. And that is crushed. That is going to be about... 15 rows deep in the right field stands. So Harper, not only did he prevent the Cubs from taking the lead in the top of the eighth inning, he has just given the Phillies a 2-1 lead in the bottom of the eighth. And Bryce Harper, 390 feet on that home run. That is number 21 on the season for him. Segura now batting with one out, nobody on base. 0-2 count from Owsley. Here's the pitch. That's going to be another base hit. Oh, that'll get past Horner out into left field for a single. And now Gregorius is going to bat with one out, one man on. Gregorius waiting for the first pitch from Owsley. Grounder to second. Throw goes to short and then over to first. And that is a 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. Well, the damage is done. Bryce Harper unties this game with a solo shot to right field, and the Phillies now lead two to one. Go to the top of the ninth inning. Sir Anthony Dominguez is gonna pitch for the Phillies, trying to nail down this win today, actually. He would qualify for the win. He's gonna face Shaw Contreras and the pitcher's spot in the top of the ninth. Two, two count. Shaw waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. Shaw swings and misses for strike three on a fastball. That was a 98 mile an hour heater from Sir Anthony Dominguez. And now Contreras is gonna bat with one out, nobody on base. Contreras looking for the one and two pitch. Dominguez throws, swing and a miss, strike three. Contreras strikes out for out number two. That is strikeout number three on the day for Dominguez. And now Kipnis is gonna bat. He's gonna come up with two outs, nobody on base, and the Cubs trailing two to one in the top of the ninth inning. Kipnis looking for the one and two pitch. Dominguez gets the sign. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Kipnis heads back to the dugout. That is a win for the Phillies, two to one over the Cubs. Cubs get one run on eight hits with one error. Phillies get two runs on six hits and no error. The player of today's game, of course, is the one and only Bryce Harper. He went three for three today, scored both runs, and got an RBI on the solo shot in the bottom of the eighth. Loiza for the Cubs was very effective. He threw six innings, four hits, one run earned, two walks, five strikeouts. Owsley tagged with the loss. He threw two innings. Allowed two hits. One was that Harper solo shot. One strikeout. And he is he is given his first loss of the season. He drops to three and one. Arietta threw seven and a third, six hits, one run baseball. One walk to seven strikeouts, but he does not factor in the decision as Sir Anthony Dominguez is the pitcher of record, and he manages to take the win his second of the season. Well, the Cubs dropped to 33 and 36 as the Phillies improved to 35 and 31. And that is it for today's ballgame, folks.